Hey guys, we are here in Costa. It is an absolutely beautiful day. It's 75 and sunny. We are here in Compass Point. Um, as you can see, this is a beautiful, beautiful community. If you've not been to Compass Point, you owe it to yourself. It is one of the top amenitized communities in the area. They have resort style amenities. They've got a lazy river. The area is o only lazy river. They've got an indoor pool, outdoor pool, an 18 hole golf course, and all kinds of other amenities. So. Hagen Homes is a uh, preferred builder in this community and you can actually see many of our homes from right here. So of course later on we'll see the Harbor Town too. We do have the Sunset Retreat next door um, and I told you the two about the um, golf course. The architect actually does live in this house so we built the golf course architect's house. Across the street you'll see one of our Shackleford banks and then you'll also see one of our custom homes across the street as well, the brick home over there. So today I'm going to show you the Harbor Town 2. The Harbor Town 2 is a gold award winning Parade of Homes uh, model home. It won the, like I said, it won the gold award in 2019. And we want you to be involved. Let us know what your thoughts are. If you have any questions, please let us know. We do have some gifts for you today. Patrick, let me see those gifts. So we do have this nice cooler. We have a t-shirt as well. An awesome Hagen Homes t-shirt. So you definitely want to get some apparel. And then we do have a cup for you also. So there's plenty of things to win, so make sure that you comment, stay involved. This is going to be a discussion, so we really look forward to having an interactive tour with you today. Um, on the house, thank you Patrick, on the home you see here, so this is the included elevation. A lot of folks ask me, like, Josh, are all these details included on this? Um, all, we, all, all these details included? Yes, they are. This is the included elevation. We're known for having houses that have no lack in curb appeal whatsoever. Um, Troy designed this house. This is the first one we've ever built. Um, and what I love about it is the stately appearance of this house. This house has a really a sense of grandeur whenever you walk up to it. It's just got, you know, an impressive wow factor. The raised slab foundation you can see here, it's a brick foundation. We have brick stairs leading up to the big oversized front porch as well. And then all the details that you see on this house, the wood trellis detail, the wainscot below those windows, that piece of trim on the bottom, that's called a band board. The piece of trim on the top, that's called a storyboard. We do those all as included with Hagen Homes. Notice the corbel details on the second floor. This house has a West Indies design. It's got, what, the, what that means is it's gonna have a lower pitch and very generous overhangs. Those overhangs are about twice the size of a normal overhang, um, which is a nice feature. So this house is very unique. It's very different than all the other homes that you'll find here. And people really do seem to like it a lot. Um, this is a courtyard style. So you have your garage here. One thing to note about our garages, um, you, you saw my Yukon earlier, it's a very big car. So um, we do very large garage doors. So the garage door is eight foot tall and 18 foot wide. Why is that important? It makes it easier to get in and out, you know, as you're turning into that garage. A standard garage door is gonna be seven foot tall and 16 foot wide. So we're gonna check out the garage really quick. Um, all of our homes come with this keypad, which is nice, you know, if you have um, people coming over, they wanna get access to the house, it's super easy to get into. Um, whenever we go into the garage, some things that you'll notice about this garage is the way we trim them out. They have a nice finished look. We're doing an epoxy coating on the floor, You'll notice the raised slab foundation along the bottom here. So that's how we do, um, that's what the house is built on top of. You'll also notice the, the, um, the baseboards, the trim around the windows, and the fact that the uh, garage is painted as well. One thing that's a little bit different about this house versus some of the other houses you'll find is the, top, the height of the garage ceiling. This house was uniquely designed. One of the things that I love about the Harbor Town 2 is this house is intentionally built to have a balcony off the back. A lot of the other builders, what they've done is they've modified existing plans to accommodate a balcony off the back, whereas this house was intentionally designed to have that. And the reason why I bring that up here is because we have the main, the second floor living area is unique in this house, whereas it's over the main living area of the house not over the bonus or over the garage. You know, most uh, bonus rooms would be over the garage. And what that affords in this house is you have very nice tall ceilings. So if you have kayaks, if you have surfboards, or if you have decorations, if you want to build shelves up there, there's an opportunity to do so in this house. And then you know, you'll notice also the stairs that are going into the house. There are going to be a brick stair as well. 
And now we're going to make our way into, over to the front porch and then into the foyer. We've actually been building in Compass Point since uh, the early 2013, early 2013. Um, and we specialize, you know, in, our, in here, we're known for a niche of um, coastal low country design. We have a nice portfolio of plans. You know, this is one of about 40 plans in our portfolio. But we also are known here for doing custom houses as well. Um, we have more custom design homes in Compass Point than any other builder. Uh, we work one-on-one -on -one with people to get them exactly what they want. So if you want to have a house that's different from anyone else, we're definitely the builder for you. Uh, we can make it happen. You know, we're known for uh, personal details and we're known for being personalized on the outside, inside, and with the selections, not just the plans as well. Um, so as we come upstairs to the porch, you'll notice one, the depth of the porch. The porch is a nice deep porch, which allows for you to have furniture, and it's actually a livable space. You know, a lot of times builders put a porch on here, and it's, you know, it's so small they won't even fit like a bench or anything, and it's almost like they're just checking off a box. Whereas we want you to be able to live on your front porch. You can enjoy your morning coffee out here, have a glass of wine. Uh, people will walk all the time down the street, so you get to meet your neighbors. You know, most people are moving here from afar. Um, so you definitely want to be able to make it as easy as possible to meet new, new friends because you're starting a new chapter in your life. Um, while we're close up to the front of the house here, you'll notice all the details on the house. You'll notice that we do a window sill on all of our windows around the entire house. You'll also notice the capital detail above the window. Um, and there's a close up of that trellis um, above the kitchen windows there. It's beautiful. We custom built that on site. Um, what do you guys think about the elevation of this house? What do you guys think? Do you guys like the look of this house? Like, what do you guys think? Is this a house that you can see yourself living in? Comment below. Um, we also try to design the houses to be as low maintenance as possible. You'll notice this house is a vinyl beadboard ceiling. Uh, we want you to be enjoying the coastal lifestyle in Wilmington, not maintaining your house all the time. So, you know, we try to make the house as least maintenance as possible. And we'll see some examples of that on the second floor balcony as well. So as we go inside, one thing you'll notice is this stately door. This is a uh, Thermatrue, um, check out how tall this door is, I'm not that tall, but this door is really, really tall. This door is eight foot tall, and it's nice and wide, so it's gonna allow for a ton of natural light to flood that foyer. It's gonna make it a very welcoming and open environment. And this is a fiberglass door. People ask me about doors all the time. Um, we are in an area that is warm. It's very, very sunny and it's humid. So what I recommend is doing a door like this. So like I said, we want the house to be as low maintenance as possible. So doing a door like this is gonna allow for, it's gonna hold it much better in this environment. And um, as you come in, you have the foyer here, which is a nice uh, entryway. Um, notice the wainscot as you come into the foyer. Also notice the capital detail above the front door. Um, Notice the ceiling detail. One, check out this foyer is huge. It's got like this house has a wow factor as soon as you come in. There's a ton of detail on the ceiling. I love that beam detail. I love the triple window up above that just allows for so much light in here. I love how the balcony is open um, to the second floor so you kind of get a sneak peek of what's up there. And this house is totally built for entertaining. What we did when we designed this house is we focused a lot of our square footage on the common areas. We've had many, many parties. If you've actually been to a party here, comment below and tell us about your time here because I know many of you watching now have actually been to a party here because I posted a bunch of them here. And we had a great time. Um, it accommodates over 100 people easily. Um, so if you have over 100 friends, this is a perfect house for you. Uh, in the great room, even though it's open, what I love about this house is it's got that open design, but what Troy's done is masterfully, she's delineated the spaces by the ceiling detail. So over the great room, you'll notice it's got a drop soffit, and then you've got this beam work. Um, it's not a conference ceiling, but it's like a, a cross beam with some nice crown detail. It's unique. I've not seen this in any other houses. I love it. Um, and then above the kitchen and dining area, you'll notice we got a hip with some beams going down as well. And that what that does is it helps create the, the separate spaces all while maintaining an open floor plan as well. What do you guys think about this great room? Do you guys like the size of this great room? Do you guys think that this would be a great place for you guys to entertain? Yes. 
And then off the great room, one of the things that's unique about this house is the kitchen design. This kitchen is going to be on an outside wall, which allows for a bunch of windows and a bunch of natural light in the kitchen. I would say this is one of the things that we get the, the most positive feedback on is uh, the kitchen in this house. I mean, check out of the view above that scene. I mean, that is just absolutely spectacular. You can see right down the fairway, you've got a beautiful pond view. Uh, it's absolutely amazing. I know I love, I love that view. And then a ton of cabinetry. There's no lack of storage space in this house. And I know that you know, if you've watched Patrick's video, you learned a little bit about our process. And I alluded to it outside as well. You know, we're known for being able to personalize the plans. We're also known for personalizing the, the choices in the house as well. And what we do is, I, I, you know, I'm the sales manager for Hey Good, um, so I am here to guide you through the process. Um, and thank you so much to all of my um, Hey Good homeowners in Compass Point. Uh, if you haven't checked out Compass Point's post recently, there's a ton of positive feedback. And you guys, I am so grateful for all of you guys. Um, I think we have a question. Yes. Um, Chris Leia asked, do you build in Duplin County on a private lot? Um, I think we'll get back to you on that. Um, it just depends. Um, we have built in River Landing, which I believe is in Duplin County. Um, is it? In, yes, it is in Duplin County. <laughs> um, so we'll definitely reach out to you, Chris. We would love to work with you, and um, I will definitely get in touch with you. Um, but back to uh, Compass Point, our homeowners, we have such great homeowners. And so every year we do a big event for them. Um, and please, like I said, go to the, the Compass Point page and check out some of those testimonials because they're absolutely wonderful. Um, and what people seem to enjoy about us is the personalized process. You know, personalization of the plants themselves, but also personalization of the selections. You know, um, like I was saying, I'm not the expert of everything. I'm here to help you, but we have experts in the field. So we meet with um, like Rachel at Marcraft, and she'll work with you on it. She's a kitchen designer, and she's phenomenal. People love working with her because she's going to help you lay out your kitchen and determine, you know, if you want the dishwasher on the right of the sink or the left of the sink. You know, you'll be able to make those details. You'll also meet with a landscape architect, and you'll be able to talk about your landscape design. You know, uh, Car Carmel and Tom, this is their personal house, and they actually made all these choices, and they got to go through that selections process and make, make all these decisions. Um, How long does the selections process last? Our selections process is three days long. So a lot of the builders, you know, I can't imagine. It takes me three hours to pick out a refrigerator. So, like, the fact that you would have to pick out every element of your house in three hours baffles me. Like, there's no way. Like, I just couldn't do it. But with us, you have three days. And so you'll get to meet with the owner of Hated Holmes, Jim Kenny. If you haven't met him, he is phenomenal. He's got a true passion for the business. And if you don't know about Hagen Homes, we've been in business continuously since 1996. And we've built over 1,500 homes in this area. So we have a great reputation. Uh, please visit our website and learn more about us. Um, so you'll meet with Jim. He's going to do a full review of your plans and everything. You'll meet with the uh, electrician. And you'll review your entire electrical plan. Well, like I said, you'll meet with Rachel. You'll do your kitchen design. You'll meet with Wayne and talk about your appliances. You're not locked into one brand. You know, you can get we have, we can source Frigidaire, Viking, Thermador, Wolf, KitchenAid, which is what you see here. Um, Bosch is what that dishwasher over there is, and it's got a nice custom faceplate. So we do a lot of those custom details. Um, you'll also meet with a closet designer. I mean, you really get a lot of time to make those decisions because what we want to do is we want to make sure that we get all those details aside up front so that we're not running into issues while the house is under construction. So um, you know, that's why we spend so much time up front making sure that we get everything right for you. But uh, back to the house, we have this awesome kitchen. If this is not enough storage for you, we do also have a giant pantry as well. Um, it's got a window in there. The, the shelving in that pantry is custom built. Um, so there's no, there's no slots in it. So you don't have to worry about your food falling through the shelves, which is really, really nice. Uh, and they're heavy duty, so you can put a lot, of, a lot of canned goods and whatnot in there. What do you guys think about that pantry? All right, and then we're going to go over to the dining area. So this is a huge dining area. Um, what we found is a lot of folks don't have a need for a formal dining room. They want a big dining area, but they want it to be a more of a casual environment, which is what we've created here. It's nice and open to the rest of the area, but it is large enough that if you want to put a bigger table in here, you can. And we have several different versions of this as well. Um, like I was saying, when you meet with Rachel at the kitchen, uh, at the kitchen designer, 
I've got one house I'm building. Mike and Liz, if you're watching, hello. Um, they are actually doing a um, wet bar here. So they've added an additional bar here. Um, so you know, there is some opportunities for personalization there. And then we're going to walk over into the great room. Uh, the great room, like I said, is a big, big, big space. And so you've got perfect symmetrical built-ins on either side. Uh, we have all of our audio-visual equipment is located in the cabinetry below, so it's nice and hidden. All the wiring is actually ran behind the fireplace, so you don't have to worry about any wires, all the HDMI cords, all those. And of course, we're watching HGTV. Well, that's what we've been watching here. And um, you have a nice options of tile that goes around the fireplace. Again, that will be part of your selections process as well. And Kenzie, who's filming this, is actually an integral part of the selections process. She's behind the camera, but say hello to hey her. Hey, y'all. Well. <laughs> this uh, is Kenzie. She will, she's an expert in all the colors and things like that. I am not very good at those things, but that's why we have her and Selena with us. And they'll guide you. Because a lot of folks that are building with us have never built a home before. And so we have someone that's going to hold your hand through the entire process. So you'll have me that will work, walk, walk with you through like the home design, uh, the contract phase. And then you'll work with either Kenzie or Selena through the entire selections process. And then you'll work with Madison, who's our office manager. And she's going to help you through the um, ARC, or the Architectural Review Committee process, as well as permitting. Once we get those things approved, we'll actually start building the home. And that's when you're going to start working with your construction manager. And they'll be in contact with you no matter where you are. I just, I just built a house for a client in Germany. And um, we have a program called Builder Trend. And so with Builder Trend, you can be connected with your house no matter where you are because you can log in, you can communicate with the, the construction manager, you'll see a schedule of what's going on with your house, and then you'll also see photos that will be uploaded so you can actually keep progress on your house even if you're in Germany. And uh, if you're watching, Jim and Gudrun, hello, nice to see you as well. Um, and then one thing you'll notice in this house is the capital detail and this huge slider that opens up into the, um, the screen porch area. This is amazing. One thing you'll note is how they, there's no step down from the inside and the outside because in the Carolina coast, the weather here is amazing. As you can see, it's 75 and sunny. There's tons of people on the golf course um, playing. Uh, they've been playing all day. And um, we, really, we really truly love our outdoor indoor living, which is why we have these giant doors we can have open. And then we have the screened porch off the great room. So here you can see it's got a nice big area for a dining area. You have an area for a living area as well. One thing that you'll note is the flooring out here. The flooring is a crushed shell and it's become so, so popular. It's got a nice coastal flair. What we do is we get locally sourced, sourced shells, that's a tongue twister, um, and we put it into the concrete, which gives it a nice texture. It's not sharp, you can walk on it barefooted. Um, I was worried about that when we first started it, um, but you can, it feels really nice. And um, it's not as slick as some of the other materials because you know, we do have condensation here, which makes the flooring a little slick. And then I will invite you guys out onto our patio. Um, and you'll notice we have a patio off the back. And we are located on hole number 10 of the Compass Point Golf Course here. But I wanted to point out the back of this home. It's absolutely gorgeous. So this house, like I said, has a unique feature, whereas there is a second floor balcony on this house. What do you guys think about that? How amazing is that? I mean, it's just absolutely gorgeous. Um, if you're familiar with the Wilmington area, I'm actually building this house on Bradley Creek, so it's gonna be waterfront, and they've got an amazing view. Imagine having your evening wine, watching the sunset up on that balcony. That would be ideal. I mean, I can't think of anything better. And back inside. So what do you guys think about the house so far? Leave us some comments and tell us what you think. So where we're going next is we're actually gonna head into the master bedroom. This house has a really cool design where it actually loops around. So there's like a giant circle, if you will, and we'll kind of come back where we are. Um, but the master bedroom is through this way. There is a, um, there is a storage area um, as you go into the master bedroom. So this is under the stairs. It is a linen closet. And we can push that wall back if you want to have a deeper closet. That, that is an option for you as well. 
Notice the door color. This is a cool color. It's what color? This is porpoise. Is that the color? That's artillery. Artillery, excuse me. See, I told you it wasn't gold color. <laughs> Beautiful color though. And so, someone asked what the color of the walls are, and I believe that they're uh, Cool Slate by PPG. That is correct, yes. I do know that. I get asked that a lot. <laughs> All right, so now we're in the master bedroom. As you can see, totally a lot of, a lot of room. Um, we have a king size bed here, um, and we have this nice, beautiful uh, bay window area. Look at the trim around that window. Check out the pediment detail, check out the double stud pocket windows. And just the window sills, I mean, it's just got a lot of nice, nice look. Um, and like I said, we do get to meet with electricians. So one cool feature that Carmel and Tom did is they added reading lights above their bed on dimmer switches. So imagine sitting in your bed at night, reading a book, and then waking up the next morning to beautiful views of the golf course as soon as you wake up. I mean, that's, again, the perfect life. What more could you ask for? And then you walk through the master bedroom into the master bath. This master bath truly feels like a spa. It actually won an award, I don't know where my award is, but it won an award for the master bath recently. It won a gold award. So this house won a gold award for the house overall. And then it also won an award for the bathroom as well. Notice the 12 foot vanity. You're not gonna be fighting over space in this bathroom, that is for sure. We have a dropped area for, you know, you can put a seat here, do some makeup or whatnot. And then we also have these backlit mirrors, which have become very, very popular. Um, if you're, you know, you're putting your contacts in, putting makeup on, things like that. I love the chandelier detail. This gives that nice, elegant feel. Also, note all the windows in this bathroom. It has a ton of natural light, but still allows for a lot of privacy. That shower is awesome. The, what Kenzie did not walk over a curb because it doesn't have one. There is no threshold, so it's zero entry, so it's you know, designed um, to age in place. Um, one thing that you will note also is as you walk in, you have the diverter switch right there. So you don't have to walk into the shower to turn the water on to wait for it to warm up. Also note the, um, the ceiling mounted rain head, as well as the handheld. These handhelds are really important because the showers are so big. It does help make it easier to clean. And what we've done to make this shower as least maintenance as possible is we have reduced the amount of glass in here. Just because the, you know, if you've ever had a glass shower, you know uh, the, the squeegee is your friend. So uh, we try to make that as easy as possible. Also note the bench in here, as well as the shampoo dish. What do you guys think about this bathroom? Isn't it gorgeous? And then from the bathroom, we'll walk into this nice, generous size um, closet. One of the biggest features of this house that people love, they love everything about this house, but they also really like how the closet goes right into the laundry room. Because most folks that are coming here, um, it's two people usually, most of the laundry is going to be generated in the master. So why have to walk it all across the house whenever you can just do it right here? I mean, it's, you know, how much more convenient can it get? Do you guys like that feature? Do you guys like how the master uh, closet ties right into the laundry room? And this is where the washer and dryer would go typically. Um, and then, like I said, you'll notice the, the loop right here. So if you look down the hallway here, we're back at the hallway that goes into the kitchen. So there's two entrances into the master bedroom. And next we have the E room, or the E space. And E stands for electronics. So what the, one thing we've noticed is people don't need a large office or a large study because you have your iPad or you have your laptop and you might have a printer. Um, and you just need a place for it to go. So that's what this room right here is. It's designed um, for a place for things to go, but you don't need that big room because it's not like you're spending a lot of time in there. What I love about this is that it, it's a place for mail to go because at my house, the mail ends up on the island, it's on the counters, you know, I have stuff everywhere. And this is kind of like a catch-all for all those items to go. And then one thing you'll note as you go out is the barn door that slides we love these barn doors. Chip and Joanna have done us wonders with uh, making these so popular. And then if you, uh, come, you got to turn around, you'll also notice here we have a pocket door. So we have a nice variety, not only of color, 
but of also styles of doors as well. And then as you walk down the hallway here, you're going to notice that we have a drop zone area that leads into the garage. So as you come in, you've got you know, your stuff, your umbrella, your shoes, purse, whatever it is. You have a nice place for it to drop, to put it down as you're walking into the home, uh, which is a popular feature. And as you can see, this is right into the garage. The garage is huge. You have a ton of space in there. And the door's open in the back. <laughs> uh, and then you have a guest suite down. This is a nice size guest suite. People love the size of this. And it does have its own ensuite bathroom, which is a really well appointed, has a tile surround, which is unique. A lot of times the guest bathroom doesn't get the tile surround. Um, so you'll notice this one does, of course. This would be a perfect place for your guests to come stay. Um, but ideally, if, this, if I were to come to stay at this house, I would definitely want to stay upstairs because you guys haven't seen it yet, but you guys are in for a treat. So what do you guys think so far? So what we're gonna look at next is the coat closet, the powder room, and then we're gonna make our way upstairs. So we have a coat closet here. Um, typically, we don't use coat closets a lot because it's nice and warm in uh, Wilmington. Um, so you can see here a nice area for storage. Uh, it's popular. So one thing that I've noticed with a lot of other builders is they don't have cook closets, pantries, or powder rooms, which I think are three very important items in a house. Uh, if you have get, get guests over for dinner, they might need to use the restroom, so you might want to have, be able to accommodate them. So that's why we have the powder room here. And again, we showed you the pantry earlier, which is a really, really nice size. And this is located right next to the entrance and the great room so it's a good location yeah, nice for your guests as well yeah exactly okay so next we're going to go upstairs before we go upstairs one thing you're going to note is the width of these stairs they're four foot wide which is going to make it a lot easier for furniture placement or getting furniture up and down um, and then you'll also notice as you go up there's no bend in this stair um, which again makes it easier to get the furniture in Kizzy how are we on time we're doing good it is 2.30. Okay. All right, so we have the lounge upstairs. This is a beautiful, people come up here and they're just like, wow. This is unlike any other bonus room I've ever seen. Um, I love the pyramid detail on the ceiling. Um, again, nice and open. It's truly a livable space. You know, it doesn't feel like you're in an attic. You know, it feels like you're in part of the house. What you don't feel is the nice breeze is coming through also. I wish you guys could feel it. This is amazing. Um, you'll also notice all the natural light here. Check out the windows that we did. Notice how there's, there's double stud pockets in between every window. Nice beefy trim. And also notice the height of the windows. They do not interfere with your furniture placement up here. So you have a lot of flexibility on how to use this space. Uh, people ask me all the time, you know, can we do something other than carpet? You know, of course, we have all kinds of hardwood floor options. Uh, Kenzie and Selena are definitely the experts on that. We offer LV LVT, we offer vinyl, and then we have uh, pre-engineered hardwood floor as well. I think there's like, what, 16, 17 options that are included. I can't even remember. There's like there's, 24. There's, yeah, a there's, there's a lot. There's a lot. There's a lot. <laughs> so that's one thing to note about Hagen Homes that, it, that differentiates us from a lot of other builders. It's like, you know, whenever you come in, you're going to have a lot of options. You know, it's not like you're going to come into the showroom and, well, I like that. Well, that's an upgrade. That's an upgrade. That's an upgrade. You know, you're going to have a lot of flexibility within the included features, which is really, really nice. Um, I've been in Compass Point personally since 2014, and I've been with Haygood since 2016. And I've noticed that we've, become, become, we've had more and more of an inclusive set of features. You know, when I came on board with Haygood back in 2016, I noticed that there was like items that 95% of people were upgrading, and I was like, well, if 95% of the people are upgrading those items, why don't we just include them? And those are things like LED um, under cabinet lighting, tile backsplashes, um, the built-ins on either side of the fireplace, the patio off the, um, the, the screen porch. All of those things are included, whereas a lot of other builders do consider those to be upgrades. There's a lot of other things that we do over, over and above that. You know, I think one of the things that makes me so proud to sell Hagen Homes is the stuff that we do behind the walls. Because, I mean, anybody can make a model home look pretty. You know, you put a really nice furniture in it, you pick some nice colors, and voila, you have a pretty model home. 
But what is great about our homes is they withstand the test of time. You drive in neighborhoods where a Hagen home was built 20, 25 years ago, and it looks brand new to this day. It's timeless. It has not lost its curb appeal, and it still holds its value. It's not falling apart. You know, it's, it's, it looks really nice. How many, Patrick, how many uh, resp email responses did we get after Hurricane Florence of people thanking us uh, because of how well constructed their house was? I mean, we got flooded by information, correct? Yep. Yeah, I mean, it was just, it was amazing. You know, people were just so proud. I think that's something that differentiates us as well, is people are proud of their Hagen home. You know, like, it almost, like, puts you into, not a different class, I mean, because they're not better than anybody, but, like, you have a sense of ownership. You know, you're like, I, you know, I, I worked hard, and now I have a Hagen home. Um, you know, some of those things we do is, our, this house, we can't see it, and unfortunately, but there's spray foam insulation uh, behind all the walls, as well as the house. So, you know, a lot of my customers don't really know what spray foam is. So, you know, uh, a good example, most people have heard of Yeti. Yeti cups, Yeti coolers, very similar technology. So what Yeti does is they actually put spray foam in between the walls of their products, and that's what makes your drink cold or hot for so many hours. We do the exact same thing, just on a much larger scale. Um, so your houses are gonna be so much more energy efficient. Um, I have a homeowner, I don't know if Chet is on, on here or not, but he actually owns two Hagen homes, and um, they're actually across the street from one another. And one of the homes is an older one, it was before we did spray foam, and it's about 100 square feet smaller, and it doesn't have a pool. His new home is 100 square foot larger, has a pool, yet the power bill is still half of that of his old house. I mean, how amazing is that? You guys are going to save so much money because we're spending a little bit more money up front to make sure you're getting the best house possible. And that's just the hey, good way to do things. You know, we're going to do the right way. Um, so enough of that. We're going to continue with the house. But one of the things that people love about this house is this perfect place for entertaining. You'll notice you'll go right off the lounge into this covered porch area. And who would not want to spend time up here? I mean... Catch, you can't feel the breeze, like I said. The breezes up here are absolutely amazing. We have wonderful views of hole number 10 of the Compass Point Golf Club. And again, the house was built to be very low maintenance. So you'll notice the Shrex decking um, that we have here. You'll, you'll be able to pick the color of that. Um, the railing on this house is a PVC material. It's not wood. Um, so again, very low maintenance. You don't have to worry about rotting or anything like that. Um, all of this material here is a James Hardy material, as well as the ceiling out here. It's a James Hardy. So again, you don't have to worry about rot. If you guys aren't familiar with James Hardy, it's a fiber cement board. It's very low maintenance. It's very common in the coastal area. Um, it's got this beautiful look. It'll calm this god-awful yellow color. However, we're going to paint it for you, so don't worry about that. Um, uh, you know, it gives it a nice coastal look and it, it holds up very, very well in these climates. It's insect resistant, um, you know, and it, it, will, it will paint it every seven to ten years, but, you know, to keep it looking fresh. And then you can see here, this house is definitely built for entertaining because they've got a wet bar, uh, pre plumbed here, and then you'll, know, you'll notice they have these speakers up here as well. So it's definitely, um, an area that people would want to hang out. What do you guys think? Would you guys hang out up here? Is this a good feature? And then we do have an additional guest suite um, up here. So the house in total is three bedrooms and three and a half baths. I want you guys to guess, and I want you to tell me what you think the square footage of this house is. I'm not going to tell you until after you guess. So we do have some storage areas here as well. Um, we don't have basements in, uh, in these communities, so you will definitely want to maximize. It's nice and easy. It's got a full-size door. You walk right into it. Um, storage area. We do have some finished storage as well. This is where I would store board games and things like that because that lounge is perfect for like having board game nights and things like that with your family. We do have a nice bathroom up here as well. Again, this would be the perfect place. If you had family that come, come to stay with you, I don't think they would ever leave because you have this wonderful guest suite upstairs. Cheryl DeGangie guessed the square footage, but I think she's cheating because she's getting Cheryl, this house. Cheryl, you're building this house. You know this house too well. <laughs> hey, Cheryl and Peter. 
Uh, thank you guys so much for the comp positive comment on the Compass Point page, by the way. And your house is looking beautiful. So Cheryl and Peter are actually building this house. So they're cheating because they know it very, very, very well. But you get a prize anyway because that was great. Because you get the house. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um, so here you have the, uh, the, a second guest suite. We have another guest from Kenny Windsor. Um, 2875 is his guest for Square Kenny, footage. you are close. And Kenny is also building a house with us. Um, Kenny is building the Cape Kathy. Tell Kathy I said hello. Hi, um, Kathy. Tomorrow we'll be looking at uh, Kathy's creation. So Kathy and I did a little collaboration. And we have the Cape Lookout. And so Kenny and Kathy are building that in Highland Forest West. Um, and it is absolutely beautiful. Their house is amazing, and I cannot wait to show you guys tomorrow. So make sure that you, uh, if you don't have plans tomorrow, you do, because you're going to be watching Facebook Live, because we will be back. It will be Hannah, Patrick, and myself in the same order again. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this tour. I hope you enjoyed the house. Do you have, a, have any final comments or questions? Um, now will be a good time for a Q&A. So please, um, I'm here to answer your questions, so we have some time. So... Send some questions over this way, and I'll be more than happy to answer them for you. There's about a 30-second lag, so while the questions are coming in, tell us about uh, your experience in Compass Point. How did you, how did you get here? Sure. So um, I started, like I said, I started in Compass Point back in 2014, and I was the marketing manager for Compass Point. So I was on the team that helped open up the Compass Point golf course. At the time, it was the first golf course to open in eight years in North Carolina, so it was really fun to um, be a part of that team. Um, and I had an opportunity to leave Compass Point to come with Haygood back in 2016. I had always liked Haygood houses, you know. Um, I had walked in, you know, my office was actually located across from the Margarita House. So uh, if you guys are not familiar, we are known as the Frozen Margarita House. I don't know if you guys know that or not. But, um, so the, the Hagen model homes are dubbed Margarita House. So this is the, I think the second generation of Margarita House. It was the Shackleford Banks. If you will probably notice it, it's been on billboards. It's on all Compass Points material because it's really pretty and it's a beautiful house. Anyway, it was across from my office and I just, that house made me feel a certain way when I walked into it. You know, I couldn't explain what it was because it wasn't the biggest house in Compass Point. You know, it wasn't like it was this huge monstrosity of a house. It was just when you walked into it, you felt different. It had a, you know, it just felt good. And as soon as the I had an opportunity with Haygood, I jumped on it. It was literally, it, it was it happened fast. Patrick can tell you. Um, I expressed interest in the job on a Monday. Jim Kenny, the owner of Haygood Homes, which you'll meet if you build a house with us, um, called me on Tuesday. I interviewed on Wednesday, got offered the job on Thursday, and quit my job at Compass Point on Friday. So. We move pretty quickly around here for uh, slow Southerners, but... Um, and how can people get a hold of you if they want to purchase yeah, a good home? sure, exactly, exactly. So my email address is josha at hagenhomes.com. You can always visit Hagen Homes' website, hagenhomes.com, um, and you'll find all of our contact information on there. My cell phone number, which everyone has, is 828-638-6720. Feel free to call me or text me. I'm always available. So I'd be more than happy to help any of you guys with any questions you have. We have a question from Lisa Stanger. What is the approximate price per square foot? So um, our homes range. You know, we have 40 different houses, and there's so many factors that are going to lead to the price per square foot. Um, you know, like there's a lot of unheated square footage that's involved. So like, you know, this house is going to have a higher price per square foot. Just because of things like the rear porch on the floor, on the ground, and then you have the second floor rear porch. So that's all going to fluctuate. If she would like to reach out to me, she has my email I just gave, as well as my uh, cell phone number. And she can more, I'll be more than happy to have a conversation with her about different floor plans and kind of the price points of those. All right. I don't have any more questions at the moment, but if you have any more questions for us, feel free to comment on this video, email Josh, or call the office. Have a good day, y'all. Thank you so much. See you tomorrow.